Well, we are back at it. This one happens to be an extra life donation from Geo or GLO. But thank you so much for supporting the kids and joining our efforts to raise money and supporting us by redeeming a donation deck list incentive. And you can do that as well by hitting up our Extra Life page. Those are still open. I'll probably keep them open for, well, by the time this gets up on YouTube, it may be closed by then, but probably until December 12th, 15th, give or take. So what do we have here? We have an interesting list. I feel comfortable where we're at. We have Chandra Prison or Chandra Tribal Prison here. And I think it's well worth noting it is Chandra Tribal. We have Acolyte of Flame, Dress to Kill, Torch of Defiance, Heart of Fire, Awakened Inferno, and even Chandra's Regulator here. Now, I have a few reservations. We're going to take the list as is, but let me take a few moments to predict a few things that I think will be very good, and a few things that I'm a little more worried about here. So what I am excited to see is we've dropped Chalice, we have Lightning Bolt, we have Ragavan, we have some great things to start off. Interaction's always wonderful, extra damage upstairs, and Ragavan has been, has been proven to be a very potent threat. It shows up, it attacks, it does damage. It's great. We're probably not gonna be dashing it in so much in this list, but in the event we're playing against, say, control or something with a lot of spot removal, we may we may consider that option. So small one drops. We only have three two drops, and then you get to the top end. And before I go into the top end, yeah, we have the three two drops in their Chandra's regulator to let us cycle either mountains or red cards, I'm very nervous that we have are playing fetch lands along with gemstones, along with some mountains and ramming out ruins. To be honest, it's very interesting to run six fetch lands and only have five lands in which you can fetch with. We're gonna keep it. There may be some, some magic to the madness. This worries me though. I don't necessarily want to thin the list because we're trying to hit three and four drops along with six drops. However, we have Chandra Dress to Kill here, and Chandra Dress to Kill helps ramp us as does Chandra Torch of Defiance. So it may actually work out really well for us, fingers crossed. Chandra Regulator also works off mountains, does not work off fetch lands. We'll see how this all goes. Got some Blood Moons. Those will be hopefully good. I love Acolyte of Flame. You all know this. This gets you to quicker Torch of Defiance or even Dress to Kill emblems. Chandra Heart of Fire works really nicely with a Lightning Bolt, which if you get an alt, not an emblem, but an alt here. You can search and start blasting your opponent. And Awaken Inferno obviously does the damage over time. This one is nervous to me because it's so high up in the curve. We haven't had the most luck with this card, but we'll see how this one goes. Got a few Furies here as well. This is just becoming a mainstay. No Rabble Master, no Season Pyromancer. We're just, forget those. Monkey, Elemental, and Planeswalkers. Sideboard has brought back Anger, which I kind of like the bringing back of the Anger of the Gods. Got a few abrades that are not main boarded, but side boarded in case we need to destroy, say, artifacts or creatures. Got a few Vexing and Shushers here. I think this is specifically for this person's meta. This will either be great in the league that we play here tonight, or this will be terrible. And what I mean by that is it's either going to be great because it'll prevent all of our stuff from being countered easily, or we just won't play against counter magic and we probably will never bring this in. So, depending on what kind of league we have here, this card is going to be great or not great. And then you have Karn. Karn does make a showing here in a Chandra Prison style list. This is probably why we can call it a little more prison than just say Punisher. This Karn, the great creator, has the typical things to fetch. Pithy Needles, Damping Spheres, Torp Orbs, stuff like that. I'm glad to see the Torp Orb in here. I like seeing the Void Mirror as well, considering that we don't have an easy way most times to get Blood Moon out on turn two, we can do it through Ragavan, but Ragavan does have to hit, and that may be difficult. We'll see how it runs, though. A little anxious. 21 lands, lots of fetch lands, and high mana cost, but maybe Dress to Kill will be there for us, and maybe Ragavan can get us there as well. This is Chandra Tribal Prison from Geo. Thank you once again. And uh, let's get things kicked off. Make sure we got the right list. Looks correct, because we got a lot of Chandras. And let's begin. One thing that'll be interesting to keep an eye out for on this league, and it's 
You don't always get to do this when you have the donation list because you're gonna play whatever you all want us to play. But the what, the most interesting thing here, and we'll be filing back in our minds, is is Aaron Mesa, Bloodstain Meyer, and that thinning that happens or that mm, maybe shuffle effect against a Jace or when we have something we had to put towards the bottom for whatever reason, will that benefit us? Don't know, not sure. A little worried that it won't. We'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see what you're all saying. Yeah, Sign Mountains. Heebie-jeebies has got a bunch of them. The Sign Mountains are lit. <laughs> are they? You guys happy? What's up, KO Diamonds? And how was everyone's Thanksgiving, by the way? This is Friday for those on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> it's totally happy Friday for you all, too. I will totally remember to upload this on a Friday. I'm going to try this Chandra Tribal Prison here. Thanksgiving was tasty. Thanksgiving was tasty. I have to remind the wife, we got some takeout today, but we have leftovers for like tomorrow. That'll be good. We had some turkey, we had some ham too. We personally brought pumpkin bread to the festivities. Let's play first here. All right, here we go. So this is probably not gonna happen a whole bunch, but this is what I'm a little bit worried about. We can probably mulligan this opening hand here. I'm worried about you know, you're hitting your six and five drops. I don't need to drop these until later. <laughs> we need we need something a little different. Cranberry sauce. You can eat cranberry sauce outside. Stuffing's a little bit different. Mulligan. Okay, we can we can work with this. I probably get rid of the fury here and hope that I find the red source. This one, this one's a little more workable because at least I have the three lands. Uh, we're gonna keep get rid of the fury. We have the bolt as well. My opponent hasn't shown us any uh, any companions, so we'll see how it goes. My opponent's also one and one. Can't have six too quickly here. Now I am a little nervous. We're gonna run into a bunch of rhinos, <laughs> and if we do, then uh, we're gonna miss that chalice on zero. But Let's uh let's see what kind of league we we end up here with. Some of the variants that comes with magic. Hey, all right, we got a target for this bolt immediately. I'll uh I'll take it. I will take it. All right. Blood Moon's not bad. That helps fix our mana problems. Let's see what they end up playing here. Scavenger Grounds isn't that awful either. All right. <clears throat> so my opponent has what I assume is a counter spell. Uh, Bridge is slightly better against... Bridge is slightly better against a Murktide later, so we'll lead with Blood Moon. I'm expecting a counter spell, or maybe they'll just search Island and let it land. You're thinking of Chandra Pyromancer. Thunderbird. <laughs> Here comes the counter. There it goes. Blood Moon's gone. There's Dashing Monkey. Can't quite get rid of that. In for two. Gets a token. Chandra Heart of Fire. Land. My opponent has the ability to counter something. Hmm... Dashing Monkey can show back up here. I'm going to go ahead and try Chandra Dressed to kill, because if it actually lands, I can play the Regulator, which is kind of nifty. Didn't exactly expect it to land here. And then we can work towards this bridge next. From Blood Moon to No Moon. What's up, Logical? Well, it's got plenty of mana here, Double Bolt here, and Unholy Heat messes this Chandra up as well. Extra island for my opponent. I'm expecting Dashing Monkey again. Dash Monkey here off the double blue, holding up counter spell. Hit me, get a third, maybe a fourth mana with a land. Expressive iteration, okay.
Dragon's Rage, so they can play this plus Dashing Monkey. Monkey is being dashed. Attacks me, that way they can have the treasure token. Uh, I would love to see them actually uh, play the Darcy down because then Counterspell wouldn't be up. Unholy Heat Chandra, that works for me too. A little surprised they don't play the Darcy then do that. So we'll just take it. Um, here's one of these opportunities where I can't actually get rid of the Arid Mesa if I drew a fetch land. Uh, we're definitely just going to play bridge though. The other thing I could do is boot up the den, but I think I want to get the bridge down here because my opponent keeps beating me down with a monkey and I know they have, they at least exiled a Darcy. They just opted not to play it. But I'd rather stop this monkey and it stops Murktide here. I can probably safely use the scavenger grounds <clears throat> and then we'll find a planeswalker hopefully. Solar Eclipse turns everything into swamps. I don't use the treasure here. Puts an EE -E on three. That gets rid of bridge. That's awkward. It's awkward because of this. Um, let's go ahead and loot her away. Can I do this off? Yeah, I can do this off this mana. Okay, I play the Ramionot here because at end step when they pop this and it goes to the graveyard, I'm going to pop the Scavenger Grounds. This way a Murktide doesn't show up here. I can let that resolve. This way I am exiling also. Exiling also that bridge, so I have a spare bridge. All right. What do you got for me, opponent? Can't really make a quick Merc Tide here, which is good. Dashing Monkey back in. Three cards for my opponent. They do have pretty much any counter magic that they need open. Heart of Fire shows up. That would have been a nice one for us to use. This is one of those fine moments where a Chandra Awaken Inferno would be nice once I get to the sixth mana. The other thing I can do is actually boot up Den of the Bugbear and attempt to attack my opponent, avoiding the counter spell altogether. What do we think? Do they have the counter spell? <laughs> if they don't have the counter spell, this sticks. It's good. They kind of wait on the EE. I'm going to go for this. 50 50. All right. Resolves. Four damage in Den plus the others. I'm feeling like they've got an unholy heat or a bolt based on leaving one mana open earlier. We haven't seen that card yet. There's a Darcy. There's Ragavan into play now. Fury would be a nice top deck. Lightning Bolt's okay. It's so weird because I kind of want to kill Bo both and I want to kill the monkey, but I'm going to kill Darcy here. Whenever they play a spell and getting the surveil, it's just extra value that I really don't want them getting here. They they bounce the bridge at this point. Tough love for us. <laughs> they they start beating us down with monkey, and it's just not great. Maybe another monkey in hand? Possibly, possibly. All right. Well, my opponent hasn't countered anything for a little bit. Here's a Chandra. It would take two unholy heats. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's a good spell pierce there you got. <laughs> Three card types in my opponent's graveyard. Blood Moon would be a bad draw at this point because they have the three islands plus treasure token. Land played and nothing else. Feels like they've got counter spells. Let's loot away the regulator. Fairly safe to do this. And a Fury that I can't cast yet. But next turn. Main deck spell pierce. Sometimes they run very interesting cards. <laughs> Smells like Murktide. It's a 4-4 Murktide. I can actually kill that right now with the Fury. That doesn't happen a lot. 
And we're gonna go for the Fury play just to use the mana most efficiently here. I feel like if they have like, being that they had the spell pierce, this is probably slightly safer. Let's see if we can clear the Merc Tide. It's the hardest thing for us to deal with because damage doesn't always kill it. I would like another land before playing this actually, just because of the main deck spell pierce. <laughs> Come on land. All right, I'll take it. I got the land. I will I will take it. Does she resolve? She resolves. <laughs> Actually, she just wins the game. All right. Well, that was different. No counters for my opponent, pretty much. I wonder if I bring this vaccine in. Regulator dug us a couple cards deeper. All right. I almost feel like the Vexing Shusher might be better than Acolyte of Flame. Lower the curve ever so slightly here. I mean, this just gets shot, but I'm just hoping that I can like play this into, you know, Dress to Kill or this to Blood Moon. I mean, the target spell can also be Bridge that it protects, you know. What's up, Dylan? Wonder if I need the Abrade or the Anger as more removal. Better than Awakened Inferno or maybe even just Heart of Fire. Heart of Fire is good spot removal though. It's two damage though, and that doesn't kill doesn't kill pesky Darcy. I'm feeling like I want these abrades. Take out two Blood Moons. Blood Moon's okay. It's not great in this matchup. It's okay. I watched a little bit of you the other day, Dylan. You're playing Magic. What's up, Inquisitor? It's a name we haven't seen in a little bit. I mean, we can make the argument we haven't seen any names since last Monday. By the way, winning the first game with this list with the lands that I'm nervous about? It's just not bad. Nice, Inquisitor. This water is exceptionally cool today. It's cool water. Okay, okay. I'm glad to have at least gotten to play Vexing, so sure. We'll see if we end up seeing the Shusher of this game. Well, it showed up. I also have spot removal for the beginning, so let's go for it. And worst case scenario, I could just chuck Fury at my opponent. Kill some more creatures if they play a lot of them. Let's see how this works for us. We'll lead with Den, by the way. This this card we've have it, had to get used to because it has a condition on it for when it can come to play tapped or untapped. So definitely, we, we definitely care about it. <laughs> I wonder if I just save this to like super late game and sneak out like Karn the Great Creator. Or, or maybe I wait till I have, what, six mana here to play bridge with it. Ooh. You know, don't even expose it to the bolt. You know? Polluted Delta. I think I might try to do that. I mean, they've got to have Unholy Heats and Bolts still, right? They just work so well against stuff. This this actually is worth a dash here, I think. Do I dash this? Do I wait? I'm going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait, Chad. We're going to make them do the first move. What if I Shusher plus this? Ooh, and all these islands? My opponent's not ready to bolt my stuff. Hmm. What if, what if we just play the who blinks first? It's a nice Archmage charm you got there. I knew that was there. Nothing's changed here, opponent. Maybe I'm gonna bash him with Den as the very first move we do here. It's expressive, okay. That's fine. 
Can you imagine if they have just double blue open here and I get a land I vaccine plus dash Ragavan? Whew. That could be a thing. Dashing Ragavan though wouldn't be good. I guess it wouldn't wouldn't work exactly how I want it to. Ooh, I missed I missed the land drop. All right. Let's commit here. Dashing in. You got the counter spell opponent? You got it. All right, we thought we'd try it. <clears throat> Why not? Just need a few more lands. We'll be winning this game easy. Now that we have the Chandra, I almost want to wait till that six mana to do this combo and just use this right now. We are unfortunately behind having missed a land drop. Feeling the pain of the lands. Look at this shaman, by the way. Just, just look at him. Look at him. Take him in. Expressive iteration for my opponent, probably helping them hit these land drops. I wonder if there would be any world where I'd splash blue just for something like an expressive. Okay, consider. We got steam vents. Still doing stuff. Here comes Big Merc Tide. This is definitely bridge time. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. If I get another Fury, we could kill it. We can also Fury and Bolt Bolt if we wanted to. There's another Chandra. They probably have a way to get around this bridge, right? I'm going to Fury Bolt Bolt. <laughs> Just dump the hand into killing a Merc Tide. And before Force? Nah, no Forces, no Forces. That looks like we're desperate. Maybe they'll dump the hand trying to just start attacking me and I'll get the bridge down. Kind of like this. I'm a little nervous now. They may just make sure I never, ever, ever get a land here. <laughs> we have slain the dragon. It cost us four cards. A mere four cards. <laughs> Wild Jace. I mean, if we got this down, just saying. Wouldn't look too bad. Extra Darcy. This is looking real bad now. Well, we hit a land. I think I want to try bridge here. All right. We do get hit for six. If I can find one more land, I can empty my hand to the Karn. Go get Pithy Needle for Jace. Surely they have another counter spell. Decides to draw instead of fate sealing. We playing cricket now? What? Did I make a cricket reference that I'm not aware of? Expressive. Expressive with, I mean like Jace with two Darcy's out. This is like, this is basically like a fetch land, shuffle away. Hit for six. Is that a term in cricket? I assume six is a, I mean, like six is a touchdown in American football. <laughs> six runs, okay. Dashing monkey getting hit for eight. We're not playing cricket anymore. Arid Mesa enters the exile zone, unfortunately for us. I do hit a bolt though. That's intriguing. That's intriguing. Okay. Let's do vac vaccine shusher <laughs> into bolt a Darcy. Bam. When they try to counter this, spell can't be countered. Well, they didn't try to counter it. There goes the shusher. Dead on arrival. <laughs> But they can't attack me now, so that's a positive.
And if I can get this Awakened Inferno down, that'd be great. They're deciding Fate Seal is the way. Vaccine Shusher does not seem great. Well, we've only played it once. Don't judge. Don't judge the little goblin. Hasting in the Ragavan again, hitting us down to 10. By the way, they fate sealed me and activated, and now they hit me for two. Heart of Fire. They'll probably take that. Taking that gives them a way to get around my bridge and kills me in five turns. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. Down to eight. I miss land here, we're in trouble. Let's see if Karn even resolves. It does not. If I fury away to hit this or hit this, I don't take the two from the Ragavan. But if I don't take the two from the Ragavan, I'm still dying to the Heart of Fire, and I'm not able to kill that without running basically Fury into Land Fury. If I hit Land Fury, this will have done six damage. I'll be at two. I think we can seal information. Yeah, not going to interact with our own Chandra. <laughs> the extra, the extra spell pierce. I wonder if I bring the Blood Moons back on the play. The Ragavan, you could hit it quicker. Let's take a Regulator out. Let's take a Heart of Fire out. They seem like they're a little more control. Like maybe I should have the other Acolytes in, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a Regulator and a Heart of Fire out. We're gonna try these shushers a little bit more. You gotta, you gotta give shusher its day in the spotlight. It earned it today. It has been earned. Shh, exactly. Shh. Look, shusher even puts up the finger. He's, and he's carrying. He or she is carrying a fish back here, and a fruit basket. Fruit basket. Is anger of the gods that bad? What do you mean by that bad? Oh, I gotta go shh every time I draw it. We're not bringing it in because it doesn't hit a dashing Ragavan. And then the only cards it's hitting is four Darcy's. It doesn't seem right to bring two cards in to deal with four if I have something that's more flexible. I think I'm going to lose this Ragavan. We'll find out together. And if not, we could try Dress to Kill. Make them panic for a second. All right, your panic can end. <laughs> Another steam vents here. Opponent's ready to counter. I wonder if I just run this out. Like, just eat the counter and let's go. So, you know what? Because we are on the play, I think aggression, aggression, aggression here. Just eat every counter as we go. Um, can't decide if I like Chandra Torch or Karn next. Opponent has missed a land drop. In that case, let's go... Chandra first. Another counter spell. This is building up to Karn protected by Bolt can go get something. Probably bridge or something like that. There's expressive. That was off the top. Fiery Islet for their land. Okay. Ooh, do I want to defend Karn or do I want more mana later? Probably defend Karn is better here. And then Karn, go get probably Bridge. It's the most one of the more impactful cards we can get here. 
I want to get liquid metal, but this is going to get just shot off otherwise, right? I think the bridge is, bridge is just a safer pickup here. Get a needle. I don't care if they play Jace next turn. This this Karn's dying, I'm almost certain. And there it goes. Expressive. We have one, two, three, four, five, six spells in the graveyard. Five is needed for Murktide. Might see a Murktide here. There's a Bobble. And Bridge might not be exactly the right call. Spire Bluff. Bobble Trigger. Arid Mesa. Play Den. I'd love to get rid of this graveyard, but... We can play bridge and play pay for spell pierce right now, so I'm going to go with that instead. It got forced. <laughs> forced away from the consider that they had. Now we just need Awakened Inferno for the first time ever asking for it. Here comes the Merc Tide that I wanted to prevent, but I chose to go bridge first anyway. All right. Can we beat an 8-8? Eight -eight? I'm not sure I can. I'm not going to run Den of the Bugbear into this. It just dies. Yeah. We need that bridge. If they have one to two counter spells, we, we just lose this game. Ooh. Well, that is an interesting pickup here. I can do five plus the bolts. Let me attempt a bolt here as the first thing I do. See if that even resolves. Please let it resolve. Please let it resolve. Please let it resolve. Please let it resolve. Yeah, resolved. All right. Well, we have to use this to remove the Merc Tide or I die in two turns. But I can only use, I only have to use five. I mean, five's most of it, <laughs> but. I don't have to use five here unless they have a way to get rid of something in their graveyard. And that felt okay. Like, I'm not thrilled. And she goes away. <laughs> her plus bolt kills Murktide. That is her value thus far. We're currently at 10. I'm afraid to do this because of bolts killing me. Opponent has found another land. Fetching. Jace? Six six Murktide. Well, fetching doesn't really do anything differently. I need exactly Awakened Inferno or Bridge or Karn. Let's get frisky here. Let's get frisky. <laughs> wow, another Murktide. I think this is a great example where anger just doesn't do it. Anger does not do it. We could have scavenger grounds to slow down the Merc Tides here from my opponent. It's a weird angle to have to go after your opponent for doing that. So I need bridge and bridge only. I need them to not have a counter. Well, I guess Karn as well. They had the bolt and they slow rolled it all the way. Slowed it all the way to the bank. Match one loss. <laughs> Hot take, Unholy Heat is oppressive and could be considered to be banned. <laughs> I don't know. I think red needs the extra damage. Creatures are getting so large, Murktide, for example, Omnath um, and other things, that they're almost pushing bolt that it's a great card, but it doesn't always kill all the creatures unless they're small and aggressive. And so, I, I, I don't know, I think we kind of need Unholy Heat. I think the combination of Unholy Heat plus some things is a little rough at times. All right, we'll keep the opening hand. We've got a Fury into a Luris build, and we have ourselves a Chandra Regulator that will hopefully get us there. Sacred Foundry could potentially mean burn. Goblin Guide does mean burn. And we are an underdog in this matchup. Needing Bolts. 
get rid of a Blood Moon. I guess I could have furied this away, but I'm gonna wait for another creature here. Hoping for the second creature. There it is. You missed the chalices? There goes the card in the Great Creator. We'll be, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Hey, Karn the Great Creator. All right, let's clear some creatures here. They're getting a little pesky. We don't even keep our creature around, which is kind of nice. We'll play Regulator down and pass turn. Wouldn't mind the Blood Moon. It could shut off Helixes and Boros Charms. About all I'm really doing next turn. Stops Fiery Islets and Sunbay Canyons. Although those are doing damage too. Oh, there's an Eilon. Can I get another Fury? You're not a fury. <laughs> You're not a fury. Uh, definitely playing the land. I hate but don't hate playing this Blood Moon. I hate it because I take two. I don't hate it because it shuts off decent stuff. My opponent is also taking damage here. If I take three, I go to 12. If they play anything off these two, they would go to probably 12-ish too, but then I go to nine because it would probably be doing three damage. We have two cards remaining here. I'm almost tempted to not play the Blood Moon and, and cycle away the Ragavan next turn to try to play Chandra into this. I'm not killing anything, so let's go ahead and pass the turn. I wouldn't normally recommend this, but the follow-up by Lon, I think, makes it so I have to do this. And they could have Searing Blaze. It's another creature. Anger of the Gods, by the way, will be brought in here. Just saying. I don't see myself playing a uh, Ragavan. Oh, it's got five damage. I'm going to ten. What's off the top? Land, okay. Wasn't a mountain. Like I said, I think I want to get rid of this Ragavan. That's a good card. That's a really good card. That's a good card, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, maybe there is something to this list. <laughs> okay, um... I'm going to let them take pain off their Sunbay Canyon, their Fiery Islet here. I'm going to play the Gemstone Caverns. We're going to do a Fury to get rid of these. I'm going to hold on to the Lightning Bolt here for the Chandra to kill the last thing, because I can do two, two, or so. I'm going to do two and two here. And I think... I want to play Chandra. I want to say I want to go up here. Not necessarily for damage. Can't quite use the regulator just yet. I'll use Lightning Bolt. And if this works out, my opponent doesn't have double spell here. Chandra plus regulator could win this game by doing four and then they take damage here. I have to avoid maybe some helixes. Ooh, another Swifty. All right. But if that comes after here instead, I'm, I'm like totally okay with that. In at me, down to nine. I called myself unfavored. This is looking pretty good though. Two damage, a Boros Charms kind of, kind of, kind of rough. I'm at four.
one, two, three, four. Pay one into this, get four mana, I have seven. I could play extra Chandra, uptick and play Karn. But I have enough for this. One, two, three, four to play this Chandra. <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be bad right now. I don't have anything that gains life. I don't want to activate really anything either here. Let's, man. This card's a problem. I need it to be not here. All right, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to play Karn. I'm not going to use this activated ability. I don't need to. Say no. Remove this from the play. I'm going to play Karn, the great creator here. And then I'm going to go get something. And I think... I think I'm just going to go get liquid metal coating. They have to take probably one damage here if they have a, a dual spell. I don't want to open myself to Searing Blaze. I feel like that's one that one card that's left. And so I'm hoping this gives me an opportunity to do Chandra, double up the damage with Regulator. Maybe I hit a land. I play the other Chandra, another two. That would be six, putting them to four. And if they've used some of this mana, maybe we get there. I'm just hoping to blank something too. I don't really want to use this to open the Chandra Regulator to attack because of Searing Blaze. The fact that I'm at four feels slightly better than three. They're passing the turn. We hit a bridge. Let's go up here and I'm going to use regulator. See what we hit. Fury is a pass, can't cast it, two damage in. And the other was a land, scavenger grounds. I think here I can safely play liquid metal coating. I win next turn. If my opponent just leaves me alone here, we're gonna tap down the state or we're gonna get rid of the sacred foundry. Again, offering no creature here because I don't think that's smart. Floating red. They're probably considering whether they want to, yeah, use one of these. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the land. We're gonna pass the turn. Opponent's got a pain land here. They need a second land to do four and a Boros Charm. They would also need a Swift Spear and a land and a Bolt here. Inspiring Vantage, Bolt. Oh, Skewer, the Critics. We were so close. All right, came down to one turn there. Aim down to one turn. All right, Angers and Abrades probably coming in. Get rid of the bridges, get rid of a regulator. Not much else to do here. Not much else to do here. Got the bolts, the braids, Angers to remove the creatures because the bridge isn't really useful here. We have big walkers though. Um, maybe my opponent keeps some Searing Blazes in for Ragavan, but also they know I would play typically Rabble Masters, Season Pyromancers. So maybe the Planeswalker build will be good for us. We'll see. 
We'll see. I feel like this is a tough one though without the uh, chalices, but we'll find out together. Maybe they'll bring some smashes in too. We don't have we don't have as many of the um, artifacts here. Well, I'm gonna keep. Got some ragavans. I almost see. I don't want to play the bloodstained mire. It it it's a point of damage. I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, monkey, make us proud. Goblin guide for them. I could block this. Actually, I might just do it. Well, I see an anger of the gods coming. I got the ragavan that I can dash in in a bolt. We're just gonna do that. Saves myself from a searing blaze, gives me an option to kill a creature if they play one. I get to see the top of their library, which, okay. I unyielded briefly because I know they have one drops I could cast. Some monkey business could be good. They know about the anger of the gods, so maybe they don't want to press their luck there. Man, I think I just play a Chandra Torch of Defiance now. Why not, right? Damage and pass turn. I'm, I'm not exposing Ragavan, little monkey. You think you're gonna get that Searing Blaze? I'm playing around Searing Blaze all night long, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Helix, Boros Charm, down to 15, 13, 15. Extra Arid Mesa here, Lava Spikes, passes. Damage. Karn the Great Creator, that's a good one. Um, let's play this Dress to Kill. Let's do it. Extra damage. And I'm gonna actually throw the bolt upstairs while I had the mana floating. Not exposing any creatures here. I have three damage here, plus bolt. My opponent's currently at six. I'm at 12, unlikely to get killed here. Helix, Boros Charm again. I say that, I might get killed here. That's two Boros Charms. Lava Spike and a Goblin Guide, thankfully I blocked. Land Drop. Hey, hey, we're looking good. I gotta play, I gotta play around Helix somehow here. Make an extra mana before I do the uptick of the other Chandra. Can I dash monkey in here safely? I think we can. How do I play around this helix? <laughs> okay, there's a sun baked. Can you tap this one for me, please? <laughs> tap that one for me, please. Yes, there we go. All right, helix cleared, lightning bolt to face. One and one, all right. Well, we lost the coin flip. I wonder if that's gonna mean a loss here. Obviously, we're gonna give it our best shot. I wish I could like do something cheaper than Awakened Inferno in this matchup. No. I really, uh, I'm just gonna leave the bridges out. You, ju you just don't play them against burn. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna change my ways unless someone can statistically show me why I should be playing bridge over the other. We're gonna stick with this. And with this hand, we can go places. Keep, get rid of gemstone to the field, get rid of an anger of the gods. This will give me a, Shonda dressed to kill lightning bolt, all the good stuff. Maybe I'll draw a land here too. Did not draw a land, boo. It's okay. 
It's okay. I'm going to play the Mountain. If I can avoid playing the Bloodstay Miner, that is a point of damage that I am not receiving to my face. Please don't be idle on. Please don't be idle on. Okay, Swifty. And a spike. All right, taking five, down to 15. Apparently I only draw Chandra's. All right, past the turn here, we got a Chandra Dress to kill. That'll help us with the Chandra Torches of Defiance. They are aware of a Chandra Torch of Defiance. They may go after Dress to kill. Some Bay Canyon is played and my opponent decides to attack us, attacking us after cycling here. And no follow up. This is a good draw. Ping for one, play Torch, go up, hit with a Braid, pass turn. Going up here to get us closer to an emblem. We have two emblems we're working towards, 13 to 17. It is a race to the finish here. Oh my gosh. All right. Ping here. Exile. No good card. Acolyte. Do not offer creatures. Up for loyalty. We have an emblem here and we're gonna we're gonna get this one close. A lot of Chandra's here. Chandra Tribal indeed. This is actually not too bad here with these to follow. It's a lot of damage to my opponent. Let's go up. Emblem. Wow, we got some stuff. Wait, what is this? Exile the top five cards of your library. I see I've never done this. <laughs> you may cast red spells from among them this turn. You get an emblem with whenever you create cast a red spell with an em with this emblem. This emblem deals X damage to any target where X is the amount of mana spent. All right. Well, I got a I got another dress to kill in here, so let's cast that. Wow, this is gonna be funky. Or no, I should play Chandra. It's four damage. And then I can play the dress to kill as well. Or I could play the Blood Moon. Shuts off Helix. That's probably better. Let's play Blood Moon. You think I'm winning? I don't know. We're doing well. <laughs> We're doing well, that's for sure. Shut off the, the white mana. That's probably a smarter play. All Planeswalkers. All the way, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this Chandra Dress to Kill emblem. It's working. It's, uh, it's working. A Rift Bolt was suspended. That's not Rift Bolt. Rift Bolt's here. Ping, cast lightning bolt. Extra one, so it's a lightning bolt for four. That's my Boros charm. Up for mana. Play new Chandra Torch of Defiance. Ping for four. This is crazy. Then up here, play Ragavan, could have braided as well. Whoa, that's some damage. <laughs> Dashing monkey, ping for one. Woo! Didn't expect that in the burn matchup. Playing no creatures though, and usually they'll be worried about Chalice. Smash to Smithereens, and Steering Blaze was, were basically blanked. I even blanked him as far as not even doing the creatures with Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Blood Moon shuts down the double white problematic cards, but with Acolyte, we got Dress to Kill there. Dress to Kill came down early enough. Burn did the right thing to ignore the Planeswalker and try to do damage, but it didn't pay off because they couldn't 
keep up with our Chandra power. That was nice. That was nice. That was super spicy, and that was that was a lot for Burn to deal with. I like it. Good stuff. <laughs> Happy to play it. All right, let's go to match number three here. I I, I can see where this uh this list can do some stuff. I'm still a little nervous about how many lands we're playing though. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna put that one away just yet. This is a good example here. I, I need a third land. I can Fury Chandra, and then we can try to work to three and four. Opponent did not show a companion. I'm on the draw. Kind of hesitantly keep because I have Fury Chandra, not because it's a great hand. No! All right, can we do it again? Help me, Goblin Guide, help me. Chandra Heart of Fire. That's, that's a miss. All right, last time I got greedy here. This time I don't know if I'm feeling greedy. Kind of want them to attack one more time. I'm going to feel greedy. I'm going to be greedy. We're going to use the Arid Mesa to help me try to find another land with the help of Goblin Guide using two, three life. Two from the attack and one from the fetch. We do find one. Excellent. Still going to fetch here. I want them to play another creature. Eidolon. Don't skewer me. Eidolon. No, skewer. Dang it. All right. Let's go ahead and fury away the goblin guide. Don't have much else to do here. F6 through the turn, pass it. Ah, uh, fetches were part of the donation list. We don't think they're the, the greatest idea, but they were part of it. So we're playing it. So we're playing it. I'm going to do Dress to Kill here. I need to be able to play things next turn. I don't uh, need this Blood Moon in play. I think it's a little risky because we have six fetch lands and only five mountains to fetch with them too. Uh, I would, I, you could play maybe one or two, but I wouldn't play much more. All right, my opponent's not doing anything. This is good for us. Ping. With all the mana, Chandra's. More pinging power. Pass the turn. I mean, they didn't do anything last turn. I'm kind of wondering if they're waiting for white mana. Maybe I should get this blood moon into play. That's five lands. That's a fury. I'm gonna play Blood Moon. Ping, ping. Ping, ping, ping. Ping, ping, ping. Maybe both. Nope. Ping, 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 ping. Next turn, I'll do Awakened Inferno. That's another land. Ping, ping, ping. Hmm. <laughs> Who's ready for some serious damage next turn? Who's ready for some serious damage next turn? Uh, if I get a land, woo. If I get a land, emblem, emblem. Five, nine, 10, 11 with the uptick. Ooh. Oh, we hit the land too. All right, so we, we smacked burn. I think I'm still gonna do the same style here. One regulator, three bridges out. And uh, go with that. Go with that, see if we can double down here on burn. All right, Bolt, Awakened, Chandra with an Anger of the Gods. Hmm, I'm on the draw, I'm gonna mulligan this. I think I need to be a more aggressive with the mulligan here. Six drop, knowing it's now burn, doesn't feel good. Well, I assume it's burn, I guess. I need to, I'm just making assumptions. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of the regulator, even though it can help me find the next land that I need. I'm gonna get rid of the regulator here because um, I don't want artifacts in play. See, we're gonna just find the lands naturally, it's all good. I wonder what they're playing. 
There's almost nothing that I really honestly want to uh, play on turn two here. Okay, Ragavan would have been nice, but I'm going to just hold here and see if they want to cast one thing before doing the attack with Eidolon. I guess I'm opening myself up to a skewer here. That's all right. That's fine. Skewer me if you've got it, opponent. Third land. Skewer me. Skewer. Plus, Roiling Vortex. All right, we're going to play that kind of game, huh? All right, Roiling Vortex. Um, I guess we'll do Dress to Kill. I kind of actually just want to go ahead and put the Ragavan in play. I'm not so worried about a Searing Blaze anymore. I've got to race this Roiling Vortex. They're taking damage, we're taking damage. If they want to go after Ragavan, that's fine. Cemetery Gatekeeper getting rid of a land, probably. I don't have to play this land. We can dodge it. Who needs to play lands anyway? Oh, and a Lava Spike. You got it, opponent. All right. Ping. Four. Cemetery out of my way. Can play the land now. Tack two. Connect with them. What do I get? A Swiss spear, which I will play off of my treasure token. I don't want to take any more damage. I know I'm sitting at nine, but hey, now I have now I have two creatures here. I'm gonna go to eight. Don't want to take this damage because then I'd go even lower. Creature defends me from a hasty creature of their own. Exquisite Fire Class did four damage. Land drop. Damage or this. I've got four here. Let's exile. Another monkey I don't want to play. Damage Exile going up here. There's a Fury. Say no to the Fury. Acolyte Prowess Trigger. I could Bolt. Let's go ahead and Bolt because it's a little more than attacking with the Prowess Trigger. Not really adding this up, but I think if I hit a bolt off them, I win. Give me a skewer, give me a bolt, give me a lava spike, give me a one drop that hits for three. Skewer! Got there! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's like a second burn matchup. Whoa. Uh, can I slowly fall in love with this list? Dogging on it a little bit at the beginning. I'll, I'll, I'll eat my words. I'll eat my words. Let's keep, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. I like this so far. I still want one more land. I... Chandra Awakened Inferno really hasn't done too much. I think that's two free slots for you. Put something in the two slot. Or two or one land and, and something else in the in the two slot. Let's keep it going. Let's play first. Also, I I don't know. I'm not I'm not convinced all these fetch lands are very good for us. But we just beat burn twice. Maybe we don't have to worry about the incidental life damage and it's good to, to have one or two fetch lands. Maybe it, maybe it is. You think there should be at least one of the uh, Chandra Waken Infernos in the 75? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, okay. Maybe Cyborg? I can't, I'm not convinced. Well... I say I'm not convinced, but if you do 
Dress to kill into Torch of Defiance the very next turn. You can play an Awakened. You, you could you could play an Awakened Inferno. Hmm. It's tough to say. All right. Match three here. There's a Flood of Strand. We have a Ragavan. Hopefully they don't Prismatic. Oh, look who's here. Oh, look who's here. Play a Gemstone. Let's see if we can connect. If we do, I'll play Blood Moon. Turn two Blood Moon would be nice. Oh, 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 Steam Vents. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> There's a Ragavan of their own. Well. Let's try to play Blood Moon. And then I think I Fury away to get rid of the Ragavan if they don't counter this. So Island, that's fine. I don't really want the Ragavan helping here. And Awakened Inferno is just a little too slow for my liking. We're in this Murktide battle again. Looks like we're doing double Murktides and double rag, uh, double burn matchups tonight. No Rhinos, thank goodness. Expressive Iteration probably trying to find some islands at this point. There's a lot of... Uh, types in the graveyard over there. I'm a little worried that our Chandra is not going to stick around very long here, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. One unholy heat away from losing her. Ping one. Pass the turn. No rhinos yet. Haven't missed Chalice. I will say that. We we haven't missed Chalice. There goes. There she goes. <laughs> Poof. One unholy heat away from getting blasted. She's kind of fun, though. She's kind of fun. She's uh, annoying to deal with. Fluffy, you're just obsessed with Accolade Flame. Yes, I am. Love this card. Here's Darcy. Excuse me, Darcy. Need a need a few elementals to get through. Thank you. Attack, pass turn. I'm going to hold the card here just to make it feel like I've got something. Down tick this time to use the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt here. Dash in monkey just to hit. A little worried about their own monkey. Made an Ar Archmage charm. Maybe I wanted them to actually have that card. They draw after the Archmage Charm, find themselves a Bobble. They'll use that immediately. I'm dashing Ragavan plus this Chandra this next turn. That's pretty good for us. They draw the card. Regulator's hilarious. Regulator's hilarious here. Yes, I will gladly activate with the the regulator and Chandra Acolyte's ability here. Thank you. Um, I will order some more of this next time. Thank you. Six, can I have a bolt, please, opponent? For me? For me, opponent? Thanks. <clears throat> I think I've called two burn smells off the top tonight. Well, this is working a lot better than I thought it would do. <laughs> um, how did I do this with the Merktide list last time? I got rid of that Blood Moons, I thought, but that was only because I was on the draw. That was great. It was pretty good, wasn't it? So Awaken Inferno, I'm just so terrified of a Merktide. We need the bridges to prevent that. The Awaken Inferno plus Bolt plan is just, it's just not a plan to kill the Murktide. I don't think I want the Awaken Infernos. I think I want something for early game, two of Braids. I think I gotta keep the Blood Moons in to keep my opponent honest. I could also do what I did last time, which was two Blood Moons went on the draw out for the Abrades, keep myself the Awaken Infernos to try to catch up and bring the Blood Moons back in after the fact. I think I'll try that. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous. That's all. There's Ragavan again. I have a way to kill something. I got the rest to kill. I mean, I guess it's an okay hand. It's an okay hand. I'll keep it. Island. Eh, see, Blood Moon's not very good. My opponent mulled at least down to six here. Decides to draw on my on their next turn, not here for me. Um, I'm gonna immediately lead with this Ragavan. I don't want to try to dash it in later. I want them to have to deal with it here. I don't have really anything else to be doing. We got under the counter spell is what it looks like, which is great for us. Regulator is not a bad idea. I kind of want to try dress to kill. All right, so oh, their own monkey. Let's talk briefly here. We're going to take like 30 seconds to talk. We could try to play Shun Address to kill. They're representing Counterspell. I expect them to counter. The other thing I could do is go Regulator. Let's go ahead and you've seen the value of that. They'll still maybe counter. I'm building my treasure tokens. That might get me to Awake Inferno. We're quick enough in this game. It may matter. Alternately, I just pass the turn, blank their Counterspell. They might consider or opt at that point, but blanking it would be hey, Murktide's going to come later. I'm going to try Regulator here and just accept that there's probably some counter spell. This Resolving, I did nothing else. You got it, opponent. Good turn. I can also play a Fury next turn if I wanted to. Opponent skips their turn here. Scavenger Grounds looks great. Let's attack for two. Going to pass the turn. I'm going to just play Chandra Awaken Inferno next turn. I've got the land. I hit it. I've got the treasure tokens. I don't need Monkey to connect next turn. Looks great. Looks great. They missed out on using a counter spell there. Murktide stuck in hand. Opponents on two lands. This game is almost over. Play the land. Attack with the Ragavan. Plan to play the Chandra Awaken Inferno. Give them the gift that is ever giving. We're at 18. I will be fetching here briefly. Four, five, six. Awaken Inferno. Oh, did I say one gift of giving? I uh, I meant two gifts of giving. Two lovely gifts of giving. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Can't deal with this. They got under the counter spell. Opponent doesn't have the red mana. Giving a double gift here. They can't kill this next turn because they will have a maximum one red. This would give another double gifts here. And we could play like Chandra and double down the damage. They'll be taking four from these. This would be four as well. And four across two turns with Ragavan. That was a bit of a non-game though. They uh, missed some lands there. 1-1 one, one against Murktide and 2-0 oh against Burn. Going into our final match here, playing Chandra Tribal Prison in Modern. A donation decklist from Geo. If you want to be like Geo, we'll be having the Extra Life donation decklist open for a little bit into December. Go check out the link in the description for the YouTube folks, and one of our Twitch people will probably put it in Twitch chat. At least one seems good. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards we might want to cut one. I mean, she's a bit overkill. She's a bit overkill when she shows up. I'm on the draw. This is the perfect time to go ahead and just ditch the Awaken Inferno. I've got two lands. I've got two draws to find the third. If I can find the third, I think we'll be in okay territory. And our opponent excited to see us. <laughs> oh, they're 3-1 as well. All right, we'll keep. Good luck. I guess I shouldn't have six. We actually have a, one, uh, a turn one play here. Oh, don't be burn. Find the land. Not going to use the fetch land.
What do you got for this Arid Mesa stomping ground? Hmm. Snow covered forest. Tarmogoyf, which I can kill right now. We'll do that. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead and play the dress to kill here. Get it out of bolt range. One ping upstairs. This will give us a torch of defiance next turn. If I hit a land drop, we can torch plus bridge here with the help of dress to kill. This is fourth land dress to kill. Chandra is like really dream dream state here for bridges to be played. I want to double bolt dress to kill as well. What do we got? Tarmogoyf? Three mana. Pillage? That'd be a little rough. Woo! It's a little rough. You didn't have to do it, opponent. Rude. So rude. Play bridge here, pass turn. We don't stop a blood braid elf, but we do stop uh, probably Tarmogoyf at this point in the game. Two red and green floated here. Are we getting another land? No, we have our own Chandra. It's Chandra Wars. They ping our Chandra. Play a land to and Tarmogoyf. I hate this. I'm gonna ping there, Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> they regret their pillage. <laughs> no, you don't. Just 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 ignore the, the bridge. They can use the zero here or the plus that uh doesn't ping. I would I would probably do that this turn. Although they've seen a bolt, they might want to try to stay out of the bolt range here. Being on two lands is going to be rough. Oh, they bolt. They bolt Chandra. Ignoble. Stop. Season Pyromancer. Okay, okay. This is a lot of good stuff they just played. I had a Ragavan. Thanks, Ragavan. Uh, let's play Chandra with the mana. I'm going to play the Chandra Dress to Kill again, trying to help ourselves with the, the bridge here. I'm gonna play a Ragavan to protect us. That way Ignoble and Season Pyromancer can't exactly hit the Chandra. I need one more land here to get the Torch of Defiance down to help us with the bridge. My opponent can obviously dig with their Chandra. We're hoping that our Chandra can keep them in check. And what I mean by that is Dress to Kill the Dress to Kill, not this Chandra. I guess we need to start specifying Chandra's in this matchup. There's a lot going on. Basically, it's Ponza, and Ponza is actually historically a very difficult matchup for us because we have so many rituals. This list actually has a fairly good chance to do okay here. When it pings us, not Chandra. The reason this list has a good chance is it doesn't have the filler of this, the ritual effects. We're more likely to have what we need in terms of the lands. Four card types, Unholy Heat does take care of the Chandra. A Bolt takes care of Ragavan, and my opponent has one more follow-up here, which is a Ragavan of their own. Attacking us for three with the Ragavan and getting a treasure token. Oh, four. I guess they can attack with both. Four, treasure token, and getting a... They could play the Ragavan off the top if they wanted to. That wouldn't be bad. We need two running lands for us. There's running land number one. Pass. What's up, Cullen? This is really bad because the monkey comes back here again. They exile a pillage. That's really bad for us, too. Pillage is going to take care of the bridge. The dashing monkey comes in. My opponent is hitting us for 10. We're going to 4. I need a bridge, and bridge would mean two season pyromancers and monkeys would attack me. That is game. All right, so we're gonna have to beat Ponza here. Gonna have to beat Ponza. Angers and Abrades can come in for this matchup. We'll get rid of the regulators. And let's get rid of, actually, let's get rid of Blood Moons. 
Let's keep regulators. Let's do it that way. No, <laughs> they wanted to play the regulator. They, they wanted to get in with the regulator. All right, Ponza. Three lands is okay. It's probably the best we can do. No monkey turn one. We'll play the land that cannot be targeted. Granted, they're not going to target anything soon. Maybe I can get like an Arbor Elf though on turn two here. That'll work. Let's go ahead and kill that. I'll hold on to the bolt. It's a little more valuable moving forward. Stomping grounds. Two mana. Do we have a Tarmogoyf? Nope. We got a Renin six. Picks up the Prismatic Vista. Is that four? Acolyte of Flame is close here, but cannot be casted. I don't think I'm going to fire off Scavenger Grounds to prevent the Renin six from picking this up. I need one more land. We needed a, a third land the entire time. Am I going to find it, though? Don't be Tarmogoyf, please. Okay, I can deal with a monkey. I can deal with a monkey. Pow. Monkey dealt with, hopefully. Land. Woo, and it was a red land. All right. Torch of Defiance is what we'll play. Uptick for damage past turn. We are in a race with our opponent. I might be looking at Awakened Inferno and giving them a gift. I could see gifts being rewarded here. Vista. Fetching the every time of the Vista has done a little bit of damage. Can't say I'm disappointed in that. Two red here. Pillet. Blood Moon? Dress to Kill. Okay. Dress to Kill might actually be worth killing with a Chandra Awakened Inferno. All right. Fury gets rid of our Chandra Torch of Defiance. We're not doing Awakened Inferno. We have at most Karn the Great Creator or Acolyte of Flame. Gosh, and a Tarmogoyf to follow this up. Oh, Tarmogoyf, you're, um, you're in striking distance here. I don't really want to use my scavenger grounds here to just get rid of Tarmogoyf. Problem is, if I'm not using it, then what am I doing? I think we're very far behind here. Tarmogoyf's just out of reach. I need a bridge. Maybe I just have to play Karn. Go get bridge. Hope for the best. Use Fury with the Acolyte of Flame to maybe get rid of this Chandra. Hope they don't find a bolt for Renin 6. There's a lot of hoping that's going to be going on here. Let's go get that bridge. Let's go ahead and Fury away Acolyte to kill their dress to kill, because that does reach us a little easier than some things here. All right, they can do four here, which I think is what they need to do, or a bolt and attack. Got the bridge coming. Maybe we can get this. Maybe we can hide long enough. I think this is one of our few outs here. Luckily, Karn is taking damage. They want to make sure Karn is off the table. Vista. 
to me, this opponent's deck is where you would put more, like, two or three Awakened Infernos, because you can get to them. Like, they're at, they're at five mana, picked up a land, they're good to go. Ugh, another Chandra Dress to kill. Okay. Well, we're playing, we're playing Bridge, hoping for the best. Hoping for the best, please no pillage. Please no pillage. If they have pillage plus land, things are gonna get real bad real fast. That's not a good sign. Red and six emblem. Land played. They could double pillage me if they want. Makes mana pings me one. Four mana. Five. Fury? Oh. Fracturing Gust. <laughs> That's now in the graveyard, so if I get another bridge, I'm kind of toast. I could, uh, I could scavenger grounds the graveyard away. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got a game here. Um, I feel like I've got to hold on to the double red, but I feel like using this would be better. Bolt Tarmogoyf, then we'll use the Scavenger Grounds. And I'm going to get rid of Ramionot Ruins. I'm going to hit another Red Land before I need to play these, right? Goodbye, Tarmogoyf. Please go away. Thank you. Cap. Still not looking great. <laughs> Looks like a rough 3-1 for us into probably a 3-2. Pings for one. Season Pyromancer, yeah, that's a really good one. Okay, Chandra and a land to the bin. Well, we used a land in order to get rid of Tarmogoyf. We miss our land drop. We do have a four drop coming up, though. Down to nine, taking three here. There's a bolt. They have a land in hand. They've got it with a lightning bolt retraced here, and they do. Pitching, stomping ground, attacking for three. And they had another land. Good games, opponent. Three, two. Tribal. Red. Prison Chandra, a modern. What do we like? What do we not like? Well, we beat Burn twice and we beat Murktide. We lost to Murktide and we lost to Ponza. Ponza historically being one of a rough match. Burn historically being about a 50-50. And actually Murktide being pretty difficult for us as well because once they get a Murktide down, it's just a matter of removing Bridge and attacking us two turns. So I'm actually pretty happy with the results of a 3-2 through that league. It was a difficult league. Didn't really get to use Vexi and Shusher too much. Uh, we saw, we played it, Unholy heated it, and it was gone. We ended up not bringing it in for the second Murktide list and ended up winning. So you can kind of make your evaluation there. That card probably shouldn't be there. Uh, the Regulators were nice, nifty. I think playing the Regulators here, I would want a few more Mountains to to throw away at. I understand the idea of fetching with these to thin the library, but I think there was a few cases where I was a little nervous about the amount of damage we were taking. Um, I wouldn't cut them all though. They seem to do well. I'd, I'd just make maybe one to two more mountains get better use out of your regulator. Blood Moons were good. Dress to Kill was excellent. This card's proving to be an awesome card. If you haven't picked them up, pick them up at this point. Torch Defiance did fine here. I like the three Karns. I could see a fourth Karn for Awakened Inferno. Um, I could see both Awakened Infernos being turned into something more in the one, two, or three slot. Um, I know it's really silly to even suggest this, but in this build, I would almost do three Bobbles and 
two unholy heats if you don't have the Karns. If you have the Karns, I would take the two Chandra Awakened Infernos out, and I would actually entertain the idea of just two unholy heats, honestly. Um, two unholy heats just seems like a potentially nice thing to have when you have artifacts hitting the graveyard pretty frequently. You got planeswalkers that are going to hit there. You have the lands. You could you could hit the unholy heat requirement to make it six, and that would help you get rid of some of the tough ones as well. Overall, though, I was impressed. I love Heart of Fire. We didn't really see her show up too much. Duo of Chandra, Torch of Defiance, Dress to Kill, and even Acolyte of Flame putting in work. Uh, your weakest cards are Acolyte of Flame, Awakened Inferno in this list. Make your changes. Make your substitutions. Take it for a spin. This is Tribal Red Prison. The Chandra build. <laughs>